Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of a case of a neurofibroma, which is a benign tumor in the skin. So what we are looking at here is the cut surface. Uh, let me just bring up the labels. And here is the uninvolved skin. We have what is the underlying subcutaneous fat here, and this is the skin covered nodule. So on the cut surface, we can see that this has a sort of a yellowish appearance, but it's slightly different from the underlying subcutaneous fat. And as we turn this around, we can see the overlying skin, as we see here. And here again, the overlying skin, which is intact and not ulcerated. Let's learn a bit more about neurofibroma. The neurofibroma is a benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor, with the other well-known benign peripheral nerve sheath tumor being the schwannoma, and there is a separate video describing the schwannoma. In terms of epidemiology, neurofibroma occurs in young adults with an equal gender distribution. It can occur in the sporadic setting, but also in the background of neurofibromatosis type 1, Clinically, we have several different presentations. The localized neurofibroma is a painless skin lump that can occur anywhere, and usually it can feel soft or sometimes rubbery. So here is one example. This is another example where it is a little bit flatter. It's usually relatively small and it retracts on pressure. The diffuse neurofibroma occurs more often in the head and neck. It arises as an indurated plaque or thickened overlying skin. There may also be some neural symptoms like paresthesia, tingling or numbness. The plexiform neurofibroma, this entity is really quite specific for neurofibromatosis type 1 and it tends to favor the head and neck as well as the major nerve trunks occurring in the extremities. So what we will see are tortuous very nodular swellings, and again, there may be some paresthesia. Diffuse and plexiform neurofibromas are associated with neurofibromatosis type 1. So this is an example of a neurofibroma that protrudes from the skin, forming a nodule, and this is actually where the tumor is, below the epidermis. And here is another example showing multiple neurofibromas arising from the skin. So there is a danger of malignant transformation in the diffuse or plexiform neurofibroma. Hence, some danger signs would be progressive enlargement or rapid enlargement after many years of staying the same size. These virtual pathology specimens are from PathWeb, which is our free online virtual pathology museum. You can scan here to have a look, or you can also register, and the link is in the video description. Grossly, there is usually a rather glistening, whitish cut surface, and it is just beneath the epidermis. So here we can see the epidermis, and there is this whitish area here, which is the region of the neurofibroma. This lesion is a little bit more nodular and rounded. Again, we can see the skin, the epidermis, and this glistening, whitish appearance, which is characteristic of neurofibroma. And here is yet another example. And here again, we see this glistening appearance. There may be some myxoid, which kind of looks translucent or cystic areas, especially if uh, the lesion is larger. And when neurofibromas arise from larger nerves, they may show this kind of fusiform expansion, kind of like a widened diameter of the nerve. Plexiform neurofibromas, as seen here, are multinodular lesions, and they tend to be quite deep. So again, we can see that this is covered by skin, but we can appreciate this nodular appearance with multiple nodules, and it's over a very large area. You can see that this is actually more than 15 centimeters in diameter. So this kind of multinodular appearance is what we tend to see on the cut surface. Microscopically, these tumors are composed of Schwann cells as well as fibroblasts, and both of these cells look quite spindle. And there are thin pink collagen fibrils in between. And this is described in more detail in the separate talking slide video, again, that can be found in our virtual pathology museum in the skin chapter.
This is another example of neurofibromas, and in this instance, we see multiple neurofibromas of different sizes arising in the skin. And this is an example of neurofibromatosis. So on the side view, we can see that these are actually raised nodules or plaques. And this layer here, this layer here is the epidermis, and this is the dermis and subcutis. So these lesions are actually relatively superficial, you can see in this particular specimen. And they protrude from the skin surface. Hence, in summary, this is a neurofibroma. And in this instance, it is a skin-covered nodule. The overlying skin is intact. And there is a yellowish appearing nodule deep to the epidermis. In the fresh specimen, this would appear glistening and whitish. And this is a benign tumor. However, there is a risk of malignant transformation over time. In the instance of very large diffuse neurofibromas or plexiform neurofibromas, and these are associated with neurofibromatosis. Thank you.